Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A few weeks ago we did this video. Could a single B1R boner destroy an entire Chinese carrier group? We took a B1R, it can carry 24 AGM 158C Larasms, that is this thing here, modern stealth anti-ship missiles, fires them at the carrier 200 miles away and the missiles destroy the carrier group. We found two specific results. If there was no Chinese fighter interceptors, i.e. it was just the ships, then the missiles kill the ships every time. If there were defending fighters, then they could actually find and intercept the missiles. How do they do that? Well, they do that because the B-1, even 200 miles away, is not stealthy and it can be seen by the ship's radar. That means the Chinese know where the missiles were going to be fired from, or the direction at least. That means the human fighters could then scramble, go in that direction, put themselves between the carrier and the missiles, and eventually the missiles will go by them. They'll be seen either by their AESA radars on their planes or by their IRST, their heat-seeking sensors, track the missiles and shoot them down with their missiles and guns. So you guys have asked us to go back and use, instead of a B-1, a B-21, a super stealthy bomber that can't be seen at 200 miles. Therefore, if it can't be seen at 200 miles, the Chinese fighters don't know which direction the missiles are coming from. Would that work? Well, today we're going to find out. First, let's talk about the technical gubbins, then we'll go and blow stuff up. The missile is, of course, the AGM-158C. It has a range of around 200 nautical miles, or at least our version does, about 240 statute miles. A penetrating warhead of 1,000 pounds, and it can sink just about anything. One of the most powerful anti-ship missiles in the world. We'll be launching it today from a single B-21. This is, uh, well, you all know what a B-21 is now. It's not actually built yet, and it will be flying in probably about five years, we imagine. It can carry 16 of them on two rotary launchers. No one really in the world, apart from the guys who are making it, know what the radar cross-section is going to be. The best source we can find is a radar cross-section of 0.004 metres squared, very similar to the F-35, meaning that an airborne AESA fighter size radar can see this aircraft at 15 nautical miles, plus or minus 5 miles for atmospheric variation. It's about as stealthy as a plane gets. You can get a little bit stealthier with like a Raptor, but it's about as good as you're ever going to get. Now, the missile itself is also stealthy. It has a stealth coating on it. Again, no one really knows how stealthy it is. We've set it up as 0.05 meters squared, and that's why I've got this guy here, just to give you an idea of how stealthy that is. 0.05 meters squared just so happens to be how we've also got the Chinese J-20 stealth fighter interceptor setup. I wouldn't call it true stealth, I would say it's somewhere between stealth and low observability, more towards the stealth side. It can be seen by a fighter-sized airborne AESA radar at 22 nautical miles plus or minus 5 for atmospheric variations. So that is how we have the Lorasms set up. We're going to run two variations of this attack. Here is a Chinese carrier group. Carrier, six destroyers, a bunch of human planes on it. Has an AWACS up here for early warning. It's travelling north of a USAF controlled island by 230 statute miles. USAF has an AWACS out here about 200 miles away from the carrier group and one single B-21. There's an Anderson Air Force Base here and of course it's got 16 Larasms ready to go. It's going to take off. It's actually going to head down here a little bit because it needs to get a bit of a run up because it's actually quite a slow thing. Then it will turn this way towards the carrier. It will get up to speed. It will get up to altitude and it will fire its missiles at the longest range of about 200 nautical miles. The missiles will go in and hopefully destroy the carrier group. That's without the fighters taking off. It's just the ships we're interested in. The second test is we'll have a whole bunch of humans, about 10 of my humans, taking off from the carrier in respawning jets if they need to represent the air wing of fighters. They will attempt to intercept the missiles, but they won't know which angle or which direction the bomber is coming from. For that, I'm going to use a separate mission file where the bomber here will actually spawn in at a random angle. It could be the north, it could be the east, it could be the south. They won't know. We will because we'll see it, but they don't. And they've got to see if they can find a way of finding those missiles, bearing in mind they won't be able to see the vehicle that it was launched from, and see if they can defend the carrier. I think that's going to be a really interesting scientific and or fun test. First, let's run the first test with no 
Chinese interceptors. And one more thing as well, I know what's going to happen, obviously, because I've run this through. I just want to show you that all of this Chinese stuff is set up fairly and there's nothing weird about it. It's a carrier, it's a normal carrier, it's got no attributes. It's fine. A bunch of destroyers, they're fine and set up normal, no attributes, small destroyers, no attributes. And AWACS, if I can find it. Normal AWACS, nothing weird, not hidden. Oops, how do I do it? There. That. Okay. And we're off. Let's go and have a look at our friendly B-21. Hello, B-21. Here's a B-21. Uh, speed it up because he's got a long, long way to go. And B-21, as it turns out, is slow as anything. Uh, we've done some modifications. It no longer has afterburners. because it's got the F-35 engines in it, but we left the afterburners on because we're very silly. Ta-da! No afterburners. Go, B-21. Sound effects today produced by Grump. God, it almost crashed. Whoa. My heart is in my mouth when we do these things, guys. That is also, that's a point, $0.7 billion aeroplane. It's quite a lot of aeroplane. Right, uh, let's go and watchy watchy. He's got a long way to go, and like I said, he's incredibly slow, so I'm just going to speed it up to maximum, maximum. B-21 almost did the Spirit of Kansas. Right? What does that mean? B-2, Spirit of Kansas, the one that crashed at Guam. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do know that. It did. Does anyone remember what actually happened to it? Uh, the sensor was exposed to moisture, mm. corrupted, and had uh, flight control issues. It's sad, guys. It's sad. And it's very annoying because the only B-2 to crash is the spirit of the state that I came from. Yeah. Kansas. You came from Kansas, Grump. I did. You could say I'm no longer in Kansas anymore. Right. Apparently, you're no longer in Kansas. Right. Here he goes, guys. 10,000 feet. Chugga, chugga, chugga. I keep, I'm pausing it by accident. I'm pressing all. I'm all fingers and thumbs today, viewers. 14,000 feet. Come on. 25. Okay, he's detected that he's in range with the missile. And out come our beautiful Larasms. Down they go. Look at their little fins come out. Uh, how many? 16. 16 are coming out. Sam. Always something satisfying about watching these go out, viewers. Why does he put his air brake out every time? I don't know. He just does. It's the beauty of AI. This is the missile itself. In fact, there was something I wanted to talk about. Um, this missile, let me just zoom out. We've set it up with a 0.05 meter squared radar cross section. Again, it's just our best guess of what it might be. Now, technically, a radar should see that at about 20 miles away, maybe about 15 miles away if it's on the surface. So, theoretically, my thinking is that the ships should be able to see these and shoot at these, at least with their sea whiz, but they can't. Um, I'm not breaking any immersion by doing that. We've done this plenty of times. The ships just can't see it. None of them, even the modernized ships. Why is that? I don't know. There's nothing, like I said, weird or cheaty or scripty going on. They just can't see them. It must be, or my guess is, it's something to do with a mixture of a relatively low radar cross section, like I said, about the same as the J20, as well as that, the altitude they fly at. They fly low, about 50 feet, but it's not super low. It's, it's, it's high enough to be intercepted. And the speed. I know they're supersonic at the moment, but they'll be subsonic when they get down towards the water. So, I don't know. Anyone... I mean, it's, it's a genuine thing. Has anyone else got any ideas why the ships aren't intercepting them? These things are designed for very low observ observability from the front. I Agreed. think they're probably a lot more effective if you're a rear -end. Fair comment. Yep, absolutely. Well, the other, other thing, the radar on the ships is designed to filter out waves and stuff like that. So Yeah. So you are low like that. Mm. Yeah, but still, if I fired an, an old missile, a harpoon, at this altitude, it would, they will be intercepted. So, I think, like I said, it's probably a mixture of the three different things. And it's interesting. It's very interesting. And you can't shoot at what you can't see. You can. You just if, won't be very accurate, know, Grum. If you know they're coming in, sure. But do they know that there's a, an attack imminent? But that's a fair point. Maybe it's they just haven't got time to get warmed up and their sensors warmed up and stuff. There they are. I would think that they would be on alert status if they were that close to Hawaii. Yeah, I guess. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it, you know, it doesn't seem to make any difference whether they're on alert status but or not. But they'd also be looking for indications that they were under an imminent attack. If the evidence isn't there that that's happening, then they're just, I mean, they're going to remain on alert, but they'll just end up still exploding. Roger. Uh, they're going to have their hordes of computer people watching watching uh what is that TikTok? Because somebody's gonna TikTok a video of that plane taking off. <laughs> right. The, the air crew the air crew just 
puts out a TikTok of them launching the missiles. No, they're they're gonna they gotta do a dance. They gotta do a dance to some kind of song. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's 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 what it is. Or well, shadow track, guys. It's really interesting how it's set it up. Or we'll see shadow. Look, look, it goes to about there, twenty miles. Then it then it turns. Oh, it's ten miles. Then it turns the seeker on, and then off they go. All right, let's go and watch it. Okay, here we come, China. And like I said, this is all set up fairly. For some reason, they just can't intercept. And kapow, smack. It's a real Oof. friggin' weapon. It is. It's a real decent weapon. Now, is that how it will work in real life? I, rec I reckon there's a good chance they would be that effective in real life. Two hits, three hits, carrier. Carrier again. Frigate. Carrier's down. Carrier's dead. Look at the money, look at the money. That's a lot of zeros. Right, let me see. Oh, one's got lost. Look, one's got lost. Oh, let me do this. No, it's tracking. Oh, it's, it's coming tracking. back around. It's all the way around. How about that? Ah, oh, they missed it. Okay, he's coming for that last one. Isn't that funny how it does that? I remember it doing that last time. Oh, come on, they missed one. What is that all about? Uh, a thing happened. You know what that is? They, they want to leave someone to tell the story. I want to leave this guy. Go back and tell your master. There you go. All right, there's no surprises there. It's exactly the same as it, it was when the B1, except for some reason with the B21, it left one thing, but I don't know. It's near enough. It took the freaking carrier group out, guys. What we're going to do next is we're going to put my humans on the carrier. So they've got infinite J15s to take off, and they can see these missiles. They seem about 15 to 20 miles with their radar and their electro optical system, like we did with the B21, but they won't know which way I send the B21 from it. It should all be set up fairly and squarely. So you guys have got to talk, communicate, and Figure out how to intercept these. Are you going to set up a ring? Are you going to set up an early warning setup? Are you just going to go for a direction and hope for it? Are you going to look for a radar source? What are you going to do? Join in the server, please. I've hidden the B-21, so I can't see them, and neither can you. So there is no way you can cheat. Ha, 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 ha. Super cap. Uh, one weird thing, the AWACS have had to put above your carrier and make him invisible, because otherwise you'd know which way they're coming from. So just bear in mind, there is an AWACS above your carrier, a blue one. It's invisible and invincible, so don't try and shoot it. You can't. I can't fly a plane, obviously, because I know where the B-21's coming from, because I made the mission. So I'll be in God mode, and I'll isolate my comms so they can't hear me. And that is going to be a good scientific experiment. Not only in gaming, but also human psychology. We're going to see how the guys work together here, and if they break down as a unit. And if a natural leader emerges, all this cool stuff. Right, viewers, um, I've not isolated my comms yet. I'm going to unpause and check this works. Right, the planes will spawn in shortly. I've put them on a delay so the guys can't see it. You're a delay. Right, there they are. I'm going to wait until the missiles are off because you wouldn't go until, obviously, the missiles fire. So let me... And the next question is, how would you know that these missiles had even been fired? You wouldn't, but obviously, you know, we say someone saw this B-21 visually dropping the missiles. Also, there's another thing. When it opens its bomb bay doors, it's no longer stealthy, as we know from the F-117 that got shot down over Serbia. So maybe you guys pick it up just as the bomb bay doors are opening. But you still don't know the azimuth somehow. So, there you go. Right, missiles will be going out shortly, guys. All right. Five out so far. Yep, uh, the guys can see the scoreboard, by the way. I'm going to help you get airborne now because I'm aware that this is a difficult thing to do. Simba, spawn in and punch it. Poosh, spawn in and punch it. Matrix, spawn in and punch it. Grump, spawn in and punch it. War Dog, spawn in and punch it. Violet, spawn in and punch it. Cannibal. How far do we want to go out? Start circling. Don't has in sight yet, guys. Cannibal, spawn in and punch it. Let me just get you airborne. Uh, maybe like five miles. Guys, can I confirm that I haven't missed anything? You do not know where they're coming from. We don't. We don't know. All right, guys. Probably. I'm I'm going to select my comms. It's all up to you. Find a way of stopping them. All right, viewers. They can't hear me, but I can hear them. So this should be interesting. Like I said, I've programmed... I say we go with my improvised... My new improvised plan that I passed on to Grump. I programmed it. So as you can see... I don't have a chance it. to get smoke on my plane. How are we going to do that? Uh, I think if we just climb up to 30,000 feet, we can do the contrails. Uh, okay, all right, all right. I'm looking for you now. I reckon... I'll... I am almost behind the boat. I reckon it'll be arguing in about yep. five... Uh, what altitude? Five minutes time. Uh, right now I'm at 
like a thousand meters. So it sounds like they're going to look for the contrail of the missile. They don't mean an actual condensation trail, but I think they mean the kerosene trail. So these things... Well, that's an interesting thing that just came across my HUD. As stealthy as they are, we'll leave a small kerosene trail. I don't think it's the right thing to do. Shall I tell you my idea, viewers? I would put everyone out a 20, 30 degree ring have them spin around in circles using their center network that should give them a complete coverage someone will pick it up when that guy picks it up they all go towards it and they shoot him let's see if they're that smart stand by oh that's you sweet yeah all right i just hit the cans i'll follow you what what bearing are we going uh you pick it yeah. zero nine or zero where's cons gonna be probably like twenty nine thousand or like eight thousand meters Eight thousand meters. Okay. Oh, they're looking for the cons of the planes. That's cheeky. They're looking for the cons of the planes. And since our channel's not being recorded, I guess we can let our secret psychological war game play out of the bag. Your channel is being recorded, Simba. I'm just you can't hear me. <laughs> Dang it! Idiot. Idiot. Okay, I, I should let myself again. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Brilliant. Yeah. So what it turns out is they're looking for the cons of the planes. That's cheeky. Matrix orbiting the carrier about uh, 7 miles, 10,000 feet, anti-clockwise. They've chosen 090 east. Are you still with me, Simba? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, there you are. Have they seen the cons? Well, let's go and have a look. I'm going to come back off the power just a little bit to give you a power advantage. No, they cannot see the cons. I'd recommend perhaps three remain close to the carrier as a response force. The others spread out at 90 degree angles in orbit. See if you can detect something. Call out the reserve as when you need it. Matrix has taken over. That's a good plan. That's exactly yeah, what I'm reading the carrier. I'm not getting too far from it. Figure you're going to do a figure eight there, Simba? No, I'm just going to make uh, an elongated 360. Well, what about the other A side then? <laughs> well, I mean, mine's not going to be too big. You just go straight and then pull a 180. It's like watching rats. But 28. Conning. All right, it's your turn. It's, it's like Ooh, watching... Let's level out first. All it's right, like... I'm making my turn. It's like watching rats valued viewers in a... Um... Oh, that's beautiful. In a maze. What heading are you on? Zero nine or zero? I'm picking up, I think they're AWACS on radar at 173. Roger, I'm at 270. Start making your 180. Roger, doing the 180. Not 100 miles, 100 miles to go. It's going to take, I don't know, another altitude. 10 minutes. You can see there. All stations matrix, I've just had a ping uh, contact at about one bearing 140 range unknown from the uh, carrier group. That is. The AWACS. They've seen Copy. the AWACS. Copy. That's Matrix to seen the AWACS. All right. I, I've warned I them about visual it. visual on you. I've warned them about it. They know it's there. All right. Leveling out. 270. Yep. Eh. They're chasing the AWACS. Okay. Wasn't the oh, best. Well, well, oh, well, we'll see it. We'll see it in a track view or something. I'll tell yep. them. I'll tell them now because it's not fair. Uh, it's the AWACS, guys. Just ignore it. It's the AWACS. All right. Back to business. I'll, I'll rejoin on you. Roger. Uh. Now, isn't it interesting? They've all gone east. Apart from Poos, they've all gone east. I'm going to drop back down to the boat. Why do you think they've done that? Why do you think... Yeah, it's, Roger, got a visual. It's in their nature yep, to go east. I don't know. Boat is off our nose at 270. Poos has a contact at 140 and 100 kilometers. That's the... Uh, is it a double asterisk? It's a, no, it's a four bar. That's the AWACS. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're learning. Single bar. I did warn you about this at the beginning, guys. I put an AWACS above your carrier. So you guys keep locking onto that for some reason. It's an AWACS. It's a non-factor. Going off comms. Oh, F-10 so. says that AWACS is behind me. Oh, you know what? Yeah, don't worry about AWACS. Not worry about AWACS. Carrier. Hey, you said... Hey, hey. Real silence on comms. You said you had four single bars? Four single bars. Where at? It was at the 140 for about 100 kilometers. I've tried, viewers. I've tried. All right, so my turn to 140 and confirm. Yep, doing it. Uh, may well be the enemy AWACS. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm saying. I said, just somebody turn and confirm. Hey, Grump, turn one four zero. Looking. Confirm it's an AWACS. Ignore it. It's uh, disappeared. All right, Simba's back at the boat, counterclockwise orbit. All right, it reappeared. It's uh, one four five for uh, Aiden. They're all being distracted by the AWACS. Yep, that's a friendly. Yep, those are all friendly. Hopefully, they're going to ignore the AWACS. Meantime, Larasm's sixty miles out, guys. Igbin I Larasm. That's a really good point, viewers, because they've got distracted by this guy. So one thing you could do in a real uh, attack is put a misdirection in. So put an AWACS up there at a, at a speed. So yeah, if you see a bar stacked on top of another bar like that, that'll be friendly. If you see uh, a four bar yeah, no, four I, across, that's a, that's a big target, and that's uh, going to be not it. That's not going to be it? That's so not going to be the B-21? So you I come out at... No. 
No, 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 it won't be. Uh, we're looking for single, single bricks, tiny bricks. So you could put, look like a cluster. You could put an earmark says misdirection or something as misdirection, a growler or something. Interestingly, look how still no one's gone west. No one's west. I wonder why. Probably, realistically, we're probably not going to see them until they're like 15 miles away. Grump's correct. You won't. The, the radar cross section is you won't see them until they're 15 to 20 miles away, I'd say. Now, let's look at their altitudes. I would say low. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but Simba's low. I think that's the right thing to do. Grump's low. I think that's the right thing to do. Matrix is low. I think that's the right thing to do. I don't mean low, like 50 feet low, but I mean a few thousand feet. Up here, I think it's actually going to make it hard to see a Larasm. Because remember, the 15 miles or so is slant range, if you know what I mean. It, it, it's from up going yeah, downwards. Yeah, it's going to suck too. I don't think these guys... Uh put off any sort of smoke trail but again there's no organization i would have them out on radials peg them out on radials so you're coming at the moment just, everyone's flying with it. so what we should say is simba charlie uniform zero six matrix charlie uniform zero eight cannibal uh bravo uniform 79 i'm orbiting here at about 500 meters in fact i i'll, I'll control the next time just to tell them to do that we'll try it again Roger. i'm holding about 890 sorry there's not much to look at viewers but it is like I said, very interesting. Poosh is still, still confused by the AWACS. It's an AWACS, Poosh. I don't think we're going to be able to see him with EO because when I swap to EO, I don't even see our own planes. That's a problem. EO is not as good as people think it is. Yeah, this is going to suck. Uh, I was figuring from ahead of him, we won't see the engine heat enough at all. There's a general misconception. Oh, yeah, on EO, I can see the AWACS. Electro optical will allow you to fire. Oh, uh, that's a shame. I are guided missiles 50 miles. Oh, the miles. AWACS isn't a mod. Miles away, it's just uh, not yeah. possible. Should I shoot the AWACS now? No. I already said it's uh, invulnerable, don't worry about it. Poor old Poosh. Primary target is going to be the Loretta. Can't, can't stop us all. <laughs> can't tell me what I can't do. Here we go. I mean, you can certainly try, but it's invincible. They're in range. They're in detectable range, pretty yeah, I'll much. I'll take your word for it. If someone's got their radar pointing in the right way, they'll find them now. Seven Seven contact radar. Ooh. Zero four, uh, zero four five. Ooh. Seven contact on radar. Zero four, uh, zero four five. Uh, fifty kilometers out. Forty kilometers out. Viewers. Forty kilometers out. They did a thing. Simba's got one away. Ho ho ho! Strong. Crump Fox 3. You're gonna, Fox 3. You're gonna have to SCT these, by the way. They did it, viewers! But have they got time to stop them? Fox 3. Maintain lock, maintain lock. Matrix Fox 3. Bang! One down! One miss. Cannonball Fox 3. Down. Down, there's a bit of a delay, One down. as you can see. One down, Crump Slash. Crump Fox 3. I don't know what to look at, viewers. Fox 3. Some are getting by. Some are getting by. Fox 3. Pilot Splash. They're going to start hitting to get each other as well. Look at that. Fox 3. Oh, a few are getting through. A few are getting through. Pilot Fox 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Friendly fires will start happening soon. Because it's just madness. It's madness. Look at this. That's friendly fire. No, it's not. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is Crump that Fox enough three. to sink the group? Buddy spike, buddy spike. Oh, that's a problem. Bang! Shot. Oh, friendly fire! Hey, I'm down. Oh, Thanks, I hit buddy. myself. Keep fighting. Don't go too low, Grump. He's too low. He's hitting himself in the water. Fuck, sir. I won't say who killed me. Don't be too low, I guys. You, you must all hit the water. Hit myself again. They're about to hit the ship. Smash. Oh, one's hit the carrier. Will the missile get to it in time? It's right behind his back. Oh! End. End. And operation finished. Pausing. Well, well done, guys. Um, you saved the carrier group. One hit the aircraft carrier, but it didn't die. Um, it only took half the health down. One hit a destroyer, and it did die, because it only, it only takes one to hit a destroyer. And that's it. So, of the break, 16 missiles, only, I think it was three that got through. There was a friendly fire, but there was always going to be friendly fire in that maelstrom.
So you did manage to do it. Actually, quite surprised you did so well. Do you want to have, because you haven't had much flying time, I wonder if you want to do it again, but I'll sort your organisation out. How do you feel about that? Bombay doors opening. This is firing. Right, okay. Simba, punch it. Uh, Simba, let's plan for uh, 180. Grump, punch it. Hit for Oh, so real good. All right, go ahead and make your turn to 180, and I will catch up to you. Matrix, punch it. War dog, punch it. Actually, yep, got you. Off my left. Rejoining on you, you can start climbing. Copy that. We want to go uh, just, uh, we can go lower this time, yeah? Why that punch it? We'll level off at 3,000. I was going to say, we can, uh, let's just do a quick orbit, and let's make it over top of the carrier on a break. Okay. Hannibal, at will, off you go. All right, comms... At Matrix? Yes, what's up? Are you assigning us a grid? Oh, God, I completely forgot. Right, I'm back on comms. Uh, right, guys, uh, so this time I'm going to put you in a concentric circle, a circle of early warning. I'm going to assign each of you a grid coordinate, if you can go and circle around that grid coordinate. Poosh. Smoke on in three, two, one. Smoke. Bravo, uniform, two, five. Read back. Bravo Uniform 25. Matrix. Uh, Charlie Uniform 05. Read back. Charlie Uniform 05. War Dog. Bravo Uniform 62. Bravo Uniform 62. Violet. Bravo Uniform 69. Bravo Uniform 69. Cannonball. Bravo Uniform 23. Bravo Uniform 23 for Cannonball. Simba and Grub, are you playing or are you doing your own thing? Simba. Bravo Uniform 93. Grump. Bravo Uniform 99. Bravo Uniform 99. Right, get to that grid, stay in that grid. I would suggest low level. What I've done viewers is I've set them out in a big 20, 30 mile circle, which is what I think they would do in real life if they didn't know where they were coming from. And they would pick them up rather than 20 miles from the carrier, more like 50 miles from the carrier. Then vector each other forward. Valued viewers, you know that they're coming in from that direction there. Now bear in mind, you'll only pick them up about 20 miles away. So that means configure your radar thus. Also, you know they're gonna be on the deck and 20, you're only 20 miles away. So with slant range in mind, I would be just a few thousand feet, two or three thousand feet. Radar away. contact, 180. Is it a cluster? Appears to be a cluster. They keep going on and off my radar. Push is on station. Single bar. Hey, if it's a single brick and there's a cluster of single bricks, that's going to be them. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Copy, 180, you said? Are you north of the carrier or south of the carrier? Bravo Uniform 62, map grid. He's uh, directly south. How many clicks out? Can I get a uh, radar lock? What does the number say in the upper left, and where on the screen are they? Middle of the screen, I have my radar set to 50. So they're 25 clicks out from you. Hey, War Dogs, is it a line of four bars? No, it's it looks like a cluster of them. Okay. Well, that sounds what, like it, doesn't it? What, what altitude are you at? 960. I'm pointing down towards the sea, so that's probably why. Because I'm... On the heading 180, and I'm not picking up anything. Same. Neither am I. All right, what the heck happened? Are you seeing, like, four bars in a square? No, I wasn't seeing any four bars. I saw, like, a cluster of them, and then all of a sudden it's just... They kept disappearing, so... What if that's a decoy? Cap, did you put a decoy on this? Nope. It's a good idea, though. Uh, what do you have your pull stoppler set to? Uh, I just have radar on. I don't have it. It'll be interleaved. Uh, inter interleaved. Okay. Contacts, contacts from my position. This is Cannonball. Two, five, two, six, zero degrees. It is definitely them. It's a cluster of them. Well done. You spotted, it. You spotted it 50 miles from cannonball, the carrier. Cannonball, Fox 3. What's your well? position, Cannonball, from the carrier? I am southwest of the carrier. Okay, they're directly west of the carrier. You would think that link would transmit that across. Cannonball splash one. Fox three. Uh, I'm still not getting them. Splash two. I'm not getting anything on radar. Oop, I got him. High early, um, set high pulse Doppler. Oop, I got him. High early, um, set high pulse Doppler. 
Uh, two five zero for my position. About uh, forty five kilometers. Launch authorized. Crop Fox three. By the Fox three. Miss. Somebody watch out. My missile just went crazy. Sorry about that, Violet. Four dogs, you need to come right. Right, right to heading 340. Three. Roger, 340. Remember, STT these things, guys. It didn't matter. My missile was going straight for a target and then just went nuts. I never left, unlocked the target. Box three. Flash three. He's going maximum speed. Launch authorized. From Fox three. Fox 3. Matrix Fox 3. We're getting about 20 clicks west of the uh, carrier if you're not seeing these yet. Push Fox 3. Launch authorized. Push splash. Buddy spike, buddy spike, buddy spike. Yeah, I am chasing you guys and I am not picking them up. Hey, do you see the smoke trail? Yeah, yeah I I mean I see you guys. I'm you know, hey, not too far behind you. Alright, knock it off guys. Not up oh, all, I'm not seeing any more. All our asms destroyed. That was a masterclass, guys. Well done. Especially Grump and Cannonball. Really good work, guys. Just watch this last, see if it's a friendly fire. Yeah, probably. No, no friendly fire. Brilliant, guys. It worked perfectly. Uh, I set you all out at... You can hear those F-15s going. Something's going on over here at the moment. The F-15s are going nuts. Um, I set you all out at... Uh, what do you call them? Not quarters. Eighths around a carrier. And it worked perfectly. Cannibal picked it out. Picked it up instead of 20 miles. 50 miles out. Just as we wanted. Which is perfect. You intercepted it. You coordinated each other. A couple of you got lost, as you can see. But someone's always going to get lost. You shot them perfectly. There was a friendly fire. But again, it's not your fault. You're shooting stealth missiles at the end of the day. You're going to get friendly fires. Go and land. Do a thing as your as your uh, treat. I was going to say, or if you're dead, take off again and go and land. I don't want to be that guy, but I haven't, for final. I haven't actually programmed a collision model for the J-15, so you're going to have to land without a collision model. That's a you problem. While I'm watching, I will debrief. Um, no, even with B-1, a properly trained and organized set of humans in modern fighters will stop Larasm. They'll organize themselves, they'll set a picket line up, they'll communicate. Even the stealthy Larasm can't get through an IRST system on a brake uh, flanker. That's really B1 interesting. B21. B it doesn't matter. Neither of them both give the same result. A decent set of humans will stop the missiles, even if they don't know which way they're coming from. I find that interesting. How close is it to reality? I would say perfectly close, because even if, even if that missile was perfectly stealthy, they can't hide the heat on it. Wow, Cannibal landed without a damage model, without a collision model. Well done. You get extra points. Anyone else have got anything to say about that? Uh, I, I reiterate, even if it was a perfectly steel missile, which I don't think it is, they can't hide the heat from those kerosene burning engines. So a flanker is going to pick that thing up. Just like we've seen in Ukraine, those, those flankers and MiG-29s are picking up drones, which make almost no heat, by the way. So a, a Lorazm would be super easy to pick up and just shoot it down. I'm not sure. I don't know. I want to get done by the CIA or something, but I reckon that's, that's a thing. Is it the CIA who would do me from, or is it someone else? That's interesting, Matrix. Matrix snapped his hook off. Ha! <laughs> Nerd. KGB will get you. Oops. It's the KGB. Oh, I'm helping the KGB. Hit, hit, hit. It's the Americans I'm going against today, because we've 
found a flaw in their missile. Hey, you know what? Maybe they can go and redesign it now and make it better with a cold engine. It's all in the name of science. Right, it is. It's science. I'm doing people's... I'm doing Yusuf's work for them anyway. Honestly, they're just going to laugh at us because we made a Jadzum look like a... Brilliant. Baby seal from Roblox or Minecraft. It's not Jasmine, Simba. It's a lot of Jasmine. We do have Jasmine as well, by the way. We have, final. we have Jasmine ER now, 500 mile cruise missile. So we're all and they both beast. look like flat baby seals. Brilliant. What's wrong with flat baby seals? Go on, Grub. Grub's down with no collision model. You guys are getting good at this? Uh, despawn, quick. Oh, Jesus. Extra cookie points for you. Go on, Violet. That is your real name, which I'm pretty sure is not. Unlucky Violet. That was just bad luck, I'm afraid. Do it again. It takes a long time for those cables to reset. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I give you Chinese cables. Not so hot. Actually, Russian cables, technically. Uh, um, that's a thing. Check here. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Wah, wah. Push, you have Hold to press the alternate. you have to press the G button oh, for the gear to come down. Final. Push. I tried that already. Right. Okay. You have to wait till you're under a certain speed. Embarrassing for you, push. Yeah. It was who was it? It was Violet last time. Forgot to put a gear down in the Raptor. Push this time in the thing. There's always someone, isn't there? Imagine if real pilots forgot to put a gear down. Final. That's why they have the LSO. I was I was watching. I just wanted him to blow up. That's a Mercedes. Mission accomplished. Right. On Violet. Is that Violet ahead? Is, isn't it? No, that's War Dogs. Good landing. Really good landing. I'm down. Please spawn, please, Violet. Right, stick it on those uh, hooks. Not hooks, what are they? Wires. You only get one go because we're out of time. You don't have your hook down. Eject, 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 eject. Near enough. Right, <laughs> you know what? You guys are learning to land with that collision model. That's actually quite impressive. To reiterate, no. A B21 can fire in full stealth mode, but if there was a picket of intelligent pilots out there, they'll find a lorasm. I know it's going to make yet more American angry at me, and I will lose my income, but it's science, guys, and science trumps all. Guys, that was excellent flying today, all of you. I'll see you tomorrow.